So So Deaf was a pinnacle force for music that changed the world. ATLS turned the up. Back in the early 90s, the South wasn't prominent. It wasn't a lot of Southern people getting played on the radio. L.A. was known for Snoop and Dr. Dre. New York, Eric B. and Rakim. So So Deaf helped Atlanta get on the map. J.D. was the first person to make Atlanta really pop. His train of thought was different than the average CEO. Because he had a variety of artists. Most labels were focused on rap or just focused on R&B. He was able to do them both. She's a rapper. He's a diva. Yeah. <laughs> Devo. I'm so, so deaf. Don Chi Chi, Jermaine Dupri. I think that he is a major icon of our time. The music is one part of it, but also hip hop is a culture. And that was what Jermaine brought across. The energy JD was putting out in the world was influential. You know, so, so deaf is a statement. Two fists, black power. In Atlanta, for a lot of folks in the hood, there wasn't an outlet. Jermaine Dupri gave me my first shot ever. He had a way of pushing artists to emotional honesty. It's in his DNA, that's all he knows. He's been creating hits his whole life. So, so deaf. Mark Atlanta is a hot spot of music. Like, hello, we're talented, and we have a sound and a style and a vibe that no one else possesses. Everybody that he's touched has been successful because he put the right spirit in them. He created a brand that people could relate to. So So Deaf has changed hip-hop for the world, and J.D. is a musical genius. 